right, we're coming into Fort Calhoun, so I thought I'd turn the camera on. Let's see how radiated I get. For all the doomsayers out there. I don't know how close we'll get to the plant. Maybe detour and shit, I don't know. This part of the route I didn't really study because it's just like... Get on 75 and run it north. Not a whole lot to it. And when I get to Norfolk, I go to Highway 81. And I think 81 runs me right into the dam. last sign I saw said nine miles to Fort Calhoun, so I figured I turned it on at about five. River should be right over there somewhere. Yep, there it is. Just on the other side of that tree line. Well, not this close tree line, the farthest tree line. So well, this may be a waste of uh, video. That corn still got about another three feet to grow. It's only about five feet right now. That corn should get up to about eight foot. Barring it doesn't get nailed with a hailstorm and strip the leaves off, that'll kind of stun it until it grows the leaves back. But then the crop won't be very good either. Guaranteed, that's all field corn. It's not the stuff you buy in the store to eat. Well, maybe you people out east, yeah, you do buy that. I ran into that in Florida. I went into a Win Dixie once. They were advertising sweet corn, and I bought some sweet corn. It, it was goddamn field corn. So I went back and bitched them out, and they said, hey, it's our supplier. That's what they tell us it is. That's what it is. They said, yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't know what's up with this state and this... Well, Iowa does the same thing. Got all this stupid-ass kind of artwork. And now, ladies and germs, we are in Fort Calhoun. I bet they're writing tickets in here like crazy speeders, tourists. Well, I guess now that I'm on the road, I'm actually a tourist. Eh. I think that sign said it was uh, a nuclear power plant's uh, 
It said SHP. I don't know what the hell that is. It said a mile down to to the right. But uh, I really have no intention of going out there and getting in their way. Everything's Lewis and Clark here. This is Lewis and Clark uh, scenic, uh, scenic Nebraska byway. I suppose if you're from the desert or the east, this is pretty scenic. But maybe it's just same old, same old, same old. Fields everywhere. Hey, we're getting close to the river. Look at that. This is groundwater flooding over here. That guy's house is flooded. Water's right up to the road here. That road's closed, can you believe it? <laughs> That water's right up to here, right up to the edge here. Look at this. Amazing. I got water on both sides of me. It's like I'm on a bridge, but I'm not on a bridge. Dead animals. I can smell them. Not pleasant. No trespassing. Guess that means I can't put my boat in there, huh? the nuclear power plant, I think. Well, the 
red-winged blackbirds are still. There's pheasant out there. Maybe it was a stork. I didn't get a good look at it. And ducks. There's a road underwater. They didn't put a sign up for that. Fuck, hope nobody drives into the water. Oh, it must not be closed. Must be safe to drive across, Martha. Watch for turning vehicles. Where are they coming from? OPPD, next right. That's the public power plant. The New Deal. See the water's all the way up to the power plant. And look at that river, it goes all the way across. I'm not I'm not staying here to shoot a I'd pull the JVC out and shoot, but this place is getting way too much attention. Employee lot. Oh my God, I feel weird. I feel um, energized. Um, I feel radiated. And my cheekbones are glowing. this mailman okay where's your yellow light at how come you don't have that on dude I don't know what plant that is They got, they got that son of a bitch sandbag to hell, though. Alright, I'm going to shut this off. I don't think we're going to see much else for a while. 